I think we're just gonna try and be outside as much as possible today. I also have some garden updates that I will share in a little bit. We have been so busy. I have a lot of messes to clean up inside, but we're leaving it for a little bit. This week has been pretty low key. We haven't had a lot going on, so I just feel like I have some extra time to pick up the camera and just kind of share what we are up to. I'll probably film over the next few days. This might turn into a week in the life. I'm not really sure, but my little friend is just playing with some toys down there right now. We just got home and I think we're going to head to the park. I've been trying to get outside as much as possible and today is very nice and sunny. It is quite chilly, like kind of like jacket weather. I'm so excited for it to be warm, but I'm thankful that there is at least blue sky and sunshine. So I'm gonna make a coffee and then we're going to head to the park. homemaker and mom I sometimes get overwhelmed surprise surprise maybe you can relate I find that I am very affected by my environment so if there is clutter if there is dirt and grime I tend to feel overwhelmed I feel like my space is not tidy and it's hard to get things done to be productive and so sometimes that means well oftentimes that means I need to just spend 10 15 20 minutes to reset our space. This often means um, tidying up the kitchen, our kitchen table, our living room area. This is where I am mostly during the days. And so if I just set a timer and tidy up, I'm not doing a deep clean here, I'm just cleaning up the breakfast dishes, cleaning off our table, wiping down some surfaces. It doesn't take long and once I do this, it is a great first step to then sometimes just sort of spiral effect into getting other things done around the house, maybe other projects or other cleaning areas that I need to tackle. But at the very least, it provides a little bit of a fresh start and I'm able to move on with my day and get whatever needs to be done, done. I also try to keep things more minimal. I don't want to have just a ton of clutter. I try to implement systems. Everything has a home. At least I, I really try to make sure that everything has a home. And if it doesn't have a home, then that means I need to find one. So I've been slowly implementing different organization, different, you know, baskets, um, just finding what works for us where we can keep things so that everything can be put away quickly. If I cannot kind of reset our home in like 20 minutes, then that tells me something is wrong with my system. I need to figure out something, figure out some better organization. I don't want things to be so out of control or so chaotic that I can't quickly regather and kind of reset our space. So this is an ongoing process. I'm definitely not perfect at it. And there's other areas that I know that I need to sort of find a system for, 
but this is something that I try to do, well, I do multiple times a day, usually after meals, just clean up the kitchen, and that way, you know, when it's time to start dinner, um, if somebody comes over unexpectedly, uh, my husband comes home from work, it doesn't feel like there's just chaos. Again, not perfect at it, but trying to find the systems that work best for us and for our family. really good to have the kitchen cleaned up it is about three o'clock so i probably have about an hour left of nap time so i'm gonna put away <laughs> this laundry that i started this morning i am notorious for doing laundry and then not putting it away right away and then it piles up so i'm gonna go put all of this it's all folded but i gotta put it all away but i did want to show you a couple things in here if you follow me over on instagram you saw that I picked up these little side tables for our bedroom. I have been looking for something like this for a while and if you saw my other video where I shared um, kind of my plans for a little bit of a bedroom facelift, this was on my list and I got these on Marketplace for such a deal and I'm so excited because the wood is unfinished. So it's sanded, it's very smooth, but there are a lot of possibilities. So I am leaning to just keeping them like this. That way, if ever there comes a day that I do want to stain them or paint them, I don't need to re-sand them. So I think I'm just going to leave them as is, at least for now. But let me know your thoughts if you think I could paint them or should paint them. Anyways, just wanted to give a little update. I also did get this accordion hook system set up the other day. This I shared in my... Uh, thrift haul video from a while ago and I really like how it turned out but anyways I am sitting down just taking a little bit of a breather before I get putting this laundry away sometimes it's good to just sit for a minute and breathe and <laughs> take a rest take a little break before getting back to work <laughs> outside enjoying some sunshine and fresh air it is much warmer now especially since the sun is out it is streaming down on us and it's so warm and lovely it is almost dinner time but we're just outside here getting some vitamin d and then we're having leftovers tonight which is lovely so i will heat that up in a little bit but for now we are here enjoying the spring weather these are the days that I have so been looking forward to. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby.
Silas should be done work soon. So I just heated up some leftovers from yesterday. This meal was delicious. This was a slow cooker meal. This, I think it was a sirloin tip roast, I believe. We get it from our uh, local meat farmer and I can leave the recipe linked down below. It was so, so good. So I just got these bell pepper seeds in here. I'm gonna bury them. Online it said to bury them about a quarter inch into the soil. So hopefully that's good. The wind accidentally got all the seeds. Oh, hi buddy. The wind accidentally got all the seeds that I had dried all day today. So I ended up using mostly seeds from a fresh well, not a fresh, but a bell pepper that I've had sitting in the fridge for about a week. So I don't know if that will affect things. I really hope not, but I guess time will tell and it's definitely a learning experience. <laughs> quite a few days later it might even be a week later I'm not even sure at this point we have been so busy we have house stuff that we're working on I will share an update in a little bit I have some fun things and projects to show you um, but we've just been so busy and so I'm picking up the camera today today's a little bit more of a chill day and I just got ready for the day today is a hair washing day so on those days I usually just do like a messy bun or a French braid, something to just get my hair away from my face. But I did want to share some skin products because I shared in a vlog a while ago that I was looking for some clean beauty skincare products. Honestly, I have never really taken good care of my skin, but it's something that I've been, it's been on my mind for a while to try some products and I want them to be cleaner beauty options. So this is what I have been using for the last few months and loving. So this is from the beauty counter. This is the All Bright C Serum. I use this in the mornings. I just put it on my face after I wash my face and it is so refreshing. It smells so citrusy. I just feel like it primes my skin and like hydrates it so well. And then also from the beauty counter, I've been using this um, eye rescue cream. It's just sort of for the sensitive areas around your eye. So I put this on in the mornings. I just dab it kind of under my eye, really all around my eye. And it's so refreshing, especially on like in mornings where I didn't sleep very well the night before. It really is like a little rescue for your eyes. So I've been loving these. I do believe that their website is like under reconstruction or something so I'll try and find the products and see if I can link them link them down in the description box for you Gorgeous. 
gorgeous day out. It is about nine o'clock and it is already warm. Oh, it's just beautiful. And every spring I'm always surprised at how quickly everything blooms. It is so lush. The leaves grow back on the trees and I feel like no time at all. Like it's, it seems just from one week to the next. We are enjoying a lovely morning outside. I have a lot of messes to clean up inside, but we're leaving it for a little bit. We are out here just enjoying the sunshine and the fresh air, but it's a little bit funny because as nice as this morning is, there is a toilet sitting beside me. <laughs> we are doing some renovations in the basement, which I will share with you in a little bit because we have made some progress over the last week or so, but we needed to remove the sink and toilet from the bathroom. So, they are out here for now. So it's just kind of funny because we have this gorgeous morning, but there's a toilet right there. Anyways, I'm just making a plan for the day. I like to make a list for each day of just what I'm doing, what's going on. I usually just try and stick to three things. That's what I've been trying to do this month. Um, three things to get done. So I need to do some painting in our basement, some of the walls. Need to figure out a plan for dinner and just a couple other little things to get done today. I also have some garden updates that I will share in a little bit. I think we're just going to try and be outside as much as possible today. Maybe um, go for a walk. We'll just see what the day brings. So recently we've been doing a little bit of shelf work in the morning. So this is a basket that I thrifted in, I shared it in my other video, my thrift video, but I pretty much just put like different toys. So this morning we've got like just some random little block type things. We have a little book that <laughs> he loves this little lion in the book. And then this is from our Love Every Play Gym, but I just take it off, put it in the basket, and he has fun just taking the things out of the basket. He'll like inspect them, he'll play with them for a while, and then I just change up what's in here every morning or so, and I just keep all of our um, like basket type toys in a drawer in this cabinet here. Um, so yeah, I just changed them up and that's been working really well for us And then we have a couple other toys that we will bring out We have This one that my mother-in-law got us recently. This is a fun one It's a car and it has all of these like squishy blocks in it. So he's been loving this And then we also just have our little book basket right here these are books that I will sit here and read to him, but also he is really enjoying holding books himself and <laughs> looking at the pictures. It's really cute. So that's kind of our play setup for this area. I love having this area here because I can see him and he can play while I'm like working in the kitchen or doing different things, cleaning up around here. I'm looking at adding some toys to our collection for kind of the one to two age range. So if you have any recommendations, I would love to hear in the comments. I do want to keep our toy collection more simple. Like I don't want to just have a ton of different toys. And of course it will depend on what kind of interest Danny has as he gets older, but would love to hear any recommendations that you have. It's now nap time and I'm gonna spend some time just tidying up and cleaning and then I'm going to start painting. And I will show you what we've been working on in our basement, living room, family room area. But first things first, this is quite the mess we have here in the kitchen got dishes to put away, surfaces to wipe, and uh, yeah, I really don't want to do it, but it <laughs> doesn't matter. We still got to get it done. If you're anything like me, you struggle to get your water in every day. That's why I have a massive tumbler. And I've been adding Organica Electrolytes Defense. This one is new to me. I've used Organica for a long time, but this one, I think it might be newer, but it's electrolytes and 
has a lot of vitamin C and zinc, so it protects against cold and flus. There is zero sugar in this and it tastes delicious. Just add some ice, give it a good shake or stir. It is so good. It tastes like it's citrus berry, but to me it tastes like raspberry lemonade. I don't know. It's really, really delicious. And I'm very picky about flavors of drinks. I've actually tried some other ones from Organica that I was not a fan of, but this one is so good. It is a perfect pick-me-up in the morning. It's refreshing and it also is giving me minerals and vitamins. So it is a win, win, win. Okay, let's go down to the basement. All right, so coming down the stairs, this is what we have done so far. It's very echoey in here, so I apologize. We have painted in this little corner under here. This is where I'm thinking I might do like a little toy area. I would love to set up a shelf so far. We have done one coat of paint, like it's still quite thin. You can see the blue underneath a little bit. My job today is going to be finishing the edging all along here and in the bathroom and then all up there as well. I did go ahead and change because I will get paint on me. <laughs> it's inevitable and I didn't want to get it on my t-shirt and jeans. So I changed and I will also show you the flooring that we're going to be replacing. So it's going to be a multi-step process. Right now we're painting and then Silas and I are going to rip up the tile floor, put down new flooring, and then we'll put the trim on. I think that's everything. So we're hoping to get this all done in the next couple of weeks so that we can get our furniture back in here. We're actually going to be having some family stay with us at the end of the month, I think in like three weeks. So we really, really want to get as much done as possible. Well, we want it to be pretty much all done. It's okay if I think the baseboards aren't on at, the, at that point, but all of the furniture from this room is in our guest room. So we need to take that out, obviously, and get it in here so that we can have guests stay in there. This is the flooring that we're going to be putting down all in here in the main area. I'm not sure exactly what color you would call this, but it's pretty neutral. But I do like that it will provide some warmth to this space, especially since the walls are going to be light. Of course, as always, it was so hard to pick a pink color, but the one that we did decide on is, is it Soji or Shoji from Sherwin-Williams? It is an off-white with a very subtle green undertone. It's like so subtle you can't see it. I read lots on this color and it's fairly popular. I think it's one of Sherwin-Williams like most popular paint colors or at least for their neutral colors. And I'm really liking it. It almost is a grayish tone depending on the lighting, but I can see that it's not yellow. It is, yeah, it's more of a grayish. There's definitely a warmer white. So I was a bit nervous pairing it with the flooring because the floor is also warm. And I think you're supposed to, you know, if you have a warm flooring, go with a cooler wall color and vice versa. If you have a cool floor, go with a warm wall color. But it's such a big space that I thought that this color would just make it really airy and open and light. And then the flooring also will just make it so cozy. And then the only other thing is in the bathroom here. Ooh. <laughs> in the bathroom, it is the same color. So we've done one coat in here. We still, of course, need to do one. I'm sorry if it's really echoey in here. But what I'm thinking is to do an accent wall. So this is the shower over here, and then this is where the toilet goes. So I'm thinking of either doing an accent wall on this wall over here. I know it's kind of hard to see. The walls are very tall. So either this wall or this wall. We have a couple of hooks here that we hang towels on. 
And this is a guest bathroom. So it's not our main one, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure what we will do. This is where the sink goes. I don't know. I would love to do a green color, maybe on this wall. That's what I'm leaning towards, but then I don't know if having the shower there kind of messes that up. So let me know what your thoughts are. But it's been super fun doing this project. It's been very, very busy as well, and we still have quite a bit to do. So I'm going to get started, take advantage of the next hour or so while Danny is sleeping and work on painting this edging up top here. While I've been painting, I've really been enjoying listening to podcasts. That helps set to the time to go by faster. And I've been listening to, yesterday I was listening to Emma's for Mama, Abby Halberstadt. I listen to her often ever since she started her podcast. And I will link her podcast down below. I really appreciate her, her biblical worldview, her approach to uh, motherhood and biblical womanhood in general. And so I'm gonna listen to that and get to painting. afternoon and I <laughs> had to change again because I got some blueberry juice on my outfit earlier so <laughs> here we are my hair is a little crazy so I'm just gonna take out this braid and I did just make myself a lovely little afternoon coffee and I am going to do some cleaning I don't know if you can hear the wind outside but it is howling outside I think it's supposed to rain so I'm just going to enjoy a little bit of a cozy afternoon, do some cleaning, um, just sort of tidying up. I haven't done any crazy spring cleaning, I guess a little bit, like I did the baseboards I think last week, but let me know if you would like to see a spring cleaning video or if there's other videos that you would like to see. I have considered doing a spring favorites video, sharing some of the things that I've been enjoying in this season, as well as a spring um, closet, like organization spring capsule wardrobe. That is a video that I am planning to film here very soon. Before I end this vlog, I do wanna share some garden updates because earlier in this video, you saw me planting my pepper seeds. And that was, I guess a week ago, maybe even 10 days ago, I'm not sure, but I have to show you guys what they look like now. Look at this. 
Oh my goodness, I could not believe when I checked on this, uh, was it maybe four or five mornings ago, and saw these little sprouts. There is one, two, three, and then I don't know if you can see another one in the back here. They actually sprouted. I, <laughs> I could not believe it, and I'm just so excited that they're actually growing and seem to be doing well. So we'll see how they turn out, how they transplant into the garden. I have been doing lots of research and I have been reading about hardening off your seedlings before planting them. So I will plan to do that. Um, I think I'm supposed to wait until they are about like four to six inches tall, I've read, before putting them outside in the garden. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you are a gardener, <laughs> Seriously, I'm open to all the advice that you have because I've never done this before. So this is the first thing that I've actually grown. <laughs> That's crazy to say, but I was just so excited. So it's so cool to see how, how it works. And I think, oh yeah, I have to show you. Hold on, I have to show you this. Oh my goodness, this is what they all looked like before they popped out of the soil so there's another one coming up and then tomorrow it will probably be as big as these ones i'm guessing it's just so neat to see the process unfold so i'm very hopeful i i hope that they'll do well in the garden but i do plan to purchase some seedlings some pepper seedlings just in case on the other side of this tray over here i labeled it with a little popsicle stick you can see I did plant some jalapenos. We love jalapenos. So planted some, we will see if they sprout, but I'm planning to plant in a few weeks, the end of May. Um, I will plan to plant and maybe even the beginning of June as well. So I am on the hunt for some garden beds. I would love to get standing garden beds and I think I have found some. I would love to get them um, from somebody local who's like building them. I've seen some on Amazon and whatnot So I could do that if I need to but I would rather purchase from an actual person who's like Building them for a business, but for right now I am going to finish up my coffee I'm going to get started on some dinner prep and then later on Silas has a commitment tonight So I'm going to be on my own tonight. So I'm just gonna have a relaxing evening whenever he's like gone in the evening if he has something going on then i like to usually bake in the evenings i love baking by candlelight there's just something so relaxing about that so i think i'm going to bake some cookies tonight and probably just relax and hang out so thanks so much for joining me today and for this video over the last few days as i've just shared what i've been up to i hope you enjoyed seeing some home updates some garden things and a little bit of just typical daily life enjoying these spring days and this beautiful weather thank you so much for joining me today here on my channel and i will see you in my next video bye